Good morning and welcome to Mom and Ed in the Morning for February the 23rd, 2023. I am the mom. And, he... and I am the Ed. <laughs> the super Ed, please. Um, uh, essentially, um, no. It's just the Ed. The Ed, okay. I'm enjoying, oh, don't go running with your dog. Dude, dude, I, I need to look at your dog. You have a cute dog here. So, it's still interesting. On some of the dogs, they don't have them quite right. So, they're either leaning forward or their back paws are sunk into the ground to make them straight. They, they messed up something in there. <laughs> okay. Official Puge says, I'm not sure if I want to play as Discovery Starfleet or Starfleet. Um, um, is this your first tune? And I have a reason for asking. Returning player. Well, Starfleet, in other words, Standard Federation, does give you a greater uh, choice of uh, species that you can play. In Discovery Starfleet, I do believe you're more limited, aren't you, Ed? Um, I think so. Let me just bounce out of here for one second. Alrighty, exit... Don't worry, I'll be right back. That's interesting. Why did that happen? I have an icon that's right next to my Streamlabs icon, and every now and then it'll trigger that one. Wakey, wakey, computer. There we go. Give me one sec here. Anyway, so when I accidentally hit the wrong icon, it sends up a bazillion ads in the background. Which probably means it's time to uh, get rid of it. For now, I see no game yet. I know, I had to restart it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say if you go into Standard Federation here. Please tell me I've got one. Um, if you go into Starfleet... You've got humans, Andorians, Bajorans, Benzite, Betazoids, Bolians, Cassians, Cardassians, Ferengis, Liberated Human, Borg, well, for some of us, Backlid, Rigelians, Saurians, Talaxians, Telerite, Talaxians for some of us, uh, Trill, Vulcan, and Aliens. If you go into... Back. Star... Uh, Discovery Starfleet. There it is. You have your choice of... Let's go back one. Ah, come on. Okay, apparently you have your choice of human. There's no more species choice than human. Oh, there we go. Human, Vulcan, and alien. So, if you want to do something that's not a human, a Vulcan, or an alien, don't go Starfleet, or Discovery Starfleet. Um, yeah, um, I would recommend actually an alien, cause, um, yeah, yeah. you have, uh, when, when it comes to pure Starfleet and, or pure Discovery, as aliens give you, gives you, um, a tenth, great, uh, gives you a great, a tenth range of, co uh, character design, you, you create your character looks like you want you can be uh, kind of um yeah um anything or at least anything close to uh, i even um <clears throat> had uh, kind of uh, giant cricket as an alien character in one of my uh, characters and by the way uh starfleet if you uh 
want to play Discovery or Star Discovery Starfleet or Starfleet might be the wrong question. Do you already have a Klingon? Actually, yeah, that's a great point. It is Klingon recruit time. Klingon recruit event is currently upcoming, and that means um, you uh, get stuff. Play for lots of rewards. Yes, yes, you do. And the thing is, you only have to get. Uh, through basically the tutorial, you don't have to complete everything right now. So if you can complete the tutorial, which usually takes less than an hour, uh, that's all there is to it. Then you get your little transponder device, and that starts you on the progress to getting all the other goodies. Yeah, including um, including um, a bird of uh, prey that uh, gives you the withering barrage ship trait and that can be called can be um, claimed by all captains once you have a Klingon at level 64 yeah. and it's a ship trait that is uh, definitely um, yeah a standard want to have um, must have uh, on cannon builds when it comes to uh, cannon versus beams withering barrage is the cannon thing because you can always start another tune, but starting a tune during a recruiting event really is beneficial for you and your whole whole account. Everybody gets the benefit of it. Yep. So Yuri asks, am I doing any deeds worthy of song today? Yes, I'm taking my husband to the doctor, which may not sound that impressive, but since it took us over an hour to get him back up the stairs to the bedroom yesterday... Which is not something I want to do again. Oh, um, yeah. yes. Yeah, this this is an th I think, and I think if this happens again today, we will be calling his brother, who fortunately lives next door, to lend a hand. <laughs> Literally. Hopefully we'll have better news from the doctor. Uh-huh. Star Trek-wise, um, my endeavors are all kind of... Um, me. Well, I have AP damage on the ground and AP damage in space, so you know... That's always a good start to the day. Damage is good. I have Voth on the ground, which isn't impressive, but we could go kill something else. Yeah, uh, for spacey things, um, I, uh... I uh, can uh, can join you on that uh, with the purpose of uh, endeavor and uh, and <clears throat> valid mate uh, the, the Titan shrimp is I think uh, would be fit for if we just go for uh, uh, how do we call it random TFOs? You can do random TFOs. Alrighty, let me switch over to Kethka. Tyken Shrimp is Federation, correct? Yep. Let me grab Kethka, who is my AP person for space. Do, 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 do. There she is. Hey, so last night I was a guest on an RPG called um, The Reliant. And I was playing a fleet admiral who was in charge of a tribunal. And it was a lot of fun. I, I If you have never done an RPG... These guys had a great sense of humor. They knew their characters, and it was just fun. Um, speaking of fun, sometimes uh, the internet, uh, uh, yes, um, gives uh, funny things, even um, things like um, uh, in Germany. In, in Germany, there is um, um, a lawyer's YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Where he discusses all kind of um, um, legal things, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, one of the things I found last day was um, yes, um, a judge um, who's uh, who formulated the sentence as a poem. Wow. Yes. And by the way, a silly one. I would say Limerick uh, class, uh, Limerick tier 6. <laughs> yeah. And so one of the complaints was uh, of the um, 
Now, uh, of course, the uh, case went. Uh, uh, part of the appeal was it, it can't be serious to get our sentence as a poem. That's I not like appropriate. It. I like that. You know, as long as it wasn't like a murder case, that that might be a little tasteless. No, no, it, it was an um, all in all. Um, yes, um, a, a case I uh, won't talk about because it uh, g- gets us to uh, to the things where um, uh, stuff you do not peek, speak in public about to strangers. Definitely not. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. I... <laughs> something. Uh, <laughs> a really uh, okay. So someone got um, got fired uh, for uh, with. Um, uh, for an uh, absurdly embarrassing uh, cause, <laughs> embarrassing the employee, and so part of the employees. Um, then after that, um, it kind of ended. Um, yes, uh, for the firing itself, uh, he um, he uh, sued uh, uh, against that, and uh, that was. Um, Uh, settled, and now uh, the employees use again this time for uh, yes, um, how um, uh, for for the uh, just um, pain uh, received by the uh, yes embarrassing reason that has been um, made public in the previous uh, process. So that kind of. Number one, you shouldn't have fired me, and I power. Uh, you have to pay for that. And uh, that case number two, this has been an uh... <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, so it's uh, after um, first thing, uh, thing was works uh, work, works right uh, works right works laws. And second thing is now um, civil rights uh, civil uh, suit. <laughs> Got a wee woo? Indeed. Wee woo. Hopefully it'll Ah, be. yeah. And this is a thing we can settle these cases mostly by th- simply pew pew. <laughs> I go to a Renaissance fair where they have the uh, booth called Vegetable Justice, where you get to throw rotten fruit at the opponent or rotten tomatoes and stuff like that. So this will be Pew Pew Justice. Oh, well, I guess we want easy here. Yeah. Oh, well. Yes. I have to remember, this isn't the tank. The situation is Don't grim. be stupid. All attempts there begin by... This one doesn't have the best shields out there. Uh, by the way, speaking of best shields, uh, we have an upgrade, e- week, uh, upgrade weekend. This weekend? The, this weekend, oh, yes. Oh, Actually, one of our uh, busy uh, b- busy colleagues in the leadership already created the uh, fleet notes. Apparently, uh, the fleet notes uh, on, on that. I will share it across all of the fleets then. So much for my 500,000 damage. Yeah. And by the way, people on the right portal, you just forget a sphere. I took care of it, but it's um, actually I thought really I missed it and circled back for it just now. Then it went. Pfft. So I figured, okay, somebody got it behind me. And by the way, we call that the left portal. This is the right portal, and there's definitely spheres here. Yeah. Yeah, on the, yeah exactly. The, the left, uh, it was the uh, left portal uh, where stuff had happened. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, as I said, I saw that as I started to move in, circle back, but it was already obliterated. Yeah, it was on my uh was on my front center, so of course um So we are done now, rather than hunting a sphere that went errant for and uh, exploring the local space. <laughs> well, that's one down. What have you got on your list today? Um, spiders on Nimbus. Uh, spiders on Nimbus, that's, that's good. Arthropods, okay, scorpions and nimbus. Uh, but um, yeah, so it's. Um... Let's see what I've got on my other account today. You guys are there. Shrink, darn you, shrink. I'm gonna wake up Gorney here just to see what we've got going on. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Klingon recruitment rages on until March 9th. Very well said. So I have Voth ships, Borg ships, and defeat Voth on the ground. Well, I've got more spacey stuff. Nothing particularly great. It's only five Voth ships, but we could go do a aftermath. If you'd like to. I yes. Go Federation or KDF, I'm not picky. Um I um I would stick to uh Tycan and join you in more spacey things. Okay, let me jump over to a better fed tune. Grab Complicatus. And we have one today that says upgrade event. <clears throat> so, one second while I drink a little more coffee. Oops, wrong, wrong button. Before I invite you, would you make sure that your private queue is empty? It's empty, of course. All right, well, you, we had it yesterday where I logged out of a tune and it still didn't empty out the queue. And let's see, I have Voth ships. So would Aftermath work for you, doing a patrol? Yes, yes, yes. Just, um, by the way, uh, stream seems to be on, on the Ferris and uh, on the Cajun oh, lady. Thank you very much. Um, give me one second then. Let's see. Let's see if it'll pick it back up. There we go. Thank you very much, Ed. I appreciate you letting me know that. I had it up and running here, and I wasn't paying any attention to it. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, OBS just picks one uh, window, and... Um... Yes, the question always is, which window is it going to pick today? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Advanced work for you? Adva advance is fine, sure. Okay. And ready to launch? 
Ready to launch. Launching. Aftermath. Yeah, all I need is five, so feel free to just shoot the heck out of everything. Uh huh. Just me. Where you go? Leave me a few, and I'm good. I do like this ship, but I do need to switch it out for something else. I think. I see. Oh, that works better. Where am I going? Right back there. Okay. So you're going to beta? I can go over to gamma. So we do. Okay. Thank you. We'll make our way to a base to complete repairs. Clean up this techno organic trash. Open fire. Oh, I definitely need to switch this out for a different ship. I have my ships. Let's see if we need anything. Well, that was my uh, five Voth ships. Obviously, this isn't the best tune I've got, but I also have ten Borg ships. For a TFO again? 
Yeah, just Actually. leaving the uh, petrol. Okay. Actually, I'm going to switch tunes. This tune just uh, doesn't do a lot of firepower. Oh, you know what? Let's try something else here. What the heck? Oh, I can tell you, I've been waiting for this upgrade weekend. I have one uh, one ship that is um, where I'm waiting for the upgrade to see if I have uh, to do a design change because uh, uh, some of the um, <clears throat> of the um, values are uh, currently not as I want to have uh, for the design to work as intended, but it might be that just upgrading stuff uh, fixes the trouble. That could be, yes. Throw some less into the bank. Okay, I've got some room in the inventory now. And let's do one more thing. Sending all of my... F oh, I missed the tholian pudding. Oh, well. Okay. Tholian uh, pudding? It, there's actually tholian chocolate pudding or something as one of the foodstuffs here. One of the recipes for the cookbook when I get back to it in a couple of weeks, I hope. Sorry, the Numbosians were being held hostage, so I had to come down and just slaughter everybody. I was standing here. You know, you just stand uh, here, yeah. you gotta deal with it, gotta kill everybody inside. Blah, 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 blah. Well, misplaced those, but okay. Fine. Can't get them all. effective. Okay. Let's see. So I have to do some Borgy ships. Do you have a Borg ship preference? Um, I think you uh, you like uh, shooting uh, probes, spheres, cubes, tactical cubes alike. They're all good. Um, yeah. What would you say to Kittimer Vortex? Uh, team in. Okay, you're already team. Oh, you're not team in. Excuse me. You you spoke about <laughs> going to a stronger tune, so I assume that you are going to switch. I'm going to switch. I'm going to go over to a stronger tune. Can you you just, said so. so. I, yes, I know, but I didn't, and I thought, well, I won't be rude and make him wait any longer. So I will grab my little Ferengi here. Yeah. It just happens to be in the same place. How interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, okay. That makes sense. L. We are queued. Uh, yeah. Battle Mom. That sounds promising. <laughs> Not a well developed character, but 
because it's a phaser build and so much stuff supports phaser, that it makes it easier even with a cheap build to do well. And I find I like playing her. So I think... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Me, me, me. Me, 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 Wee woo. Wee woo. Oh, I just invented. Uh, um, do you know how the Inquisition uh, calls their torpedoes? No. Torpemada. Oh, God. All oh, right. Satalia, where are you when we need you? <laughs> Yes, I can do physical abuse even with a bucket of daisies. <laughs> Nothing I'm very proud of, but I got <laughs> It's not much of a job, but it's the only job I have. Repeat the computer, yes. <laughs> and uh, that was... Um... Ah, yeah... Sigourney Weaver joking about her um, costume. <laughs> yeah. It was impressive that she was wearing Victoria's Secret underwear underneath her costume. Very Starfleet, non Starfleet. Um, I, I think she. Uh, Okay, first, I, I never uh, read anything in the uh, yellow uh, yellow press about uh, <clears throat> about her, but it's also uh, uh, some of the uh, making of uh, shows, uh, films where she was preparing playing alien. And there was a, a situation where uh, she had to cup Rip Ripley with goo. S so you saw Sigourney Weaver sitting in the uh, Sigourney uh, sitting in the uh, yeah uh, pile of whatever jelly, and uh, singing like in the bathroom. La 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 <laughs> la la. la. <laughs> I love people who do that stuff. Yeah. So as you know, my favorite movie is Pacific Rim. And in uh, don't the, tell me I just watched this last in, in the night. You just watched Pacific Rim? Yeah. yeah I love Pacific Rim. With the uh, Gypsy Danger. Yes, yes. And, yes, um, yes. Yeah. I love Gypsy Danger. So you know the scenes when they're standing in the uh, Jaeger and they're having to run to make the ship run and things like that? Yeah. Uh, the gentleman who directed the movie Guillermo del Toro made it so that the gearing was such that it was really difficult that you know they could easily do it and uh, the guy who's there uh, Charlie Hunt Charlie whatever his last name is I can't remember his last name uh, he's grunting and groaning because it's really physical because he wanted it to look like it was intensely physical and later they were asking Rinko Kikuchi who plays Bako Mori how did you do that without, you know, grunting and growling and feeling all worn out like the guys were? And she goes, oh, I was thinking about lollipops and teddy bears. <laughs> lollipops and teddy bears. Uh, yeah, the, the kawaii way. And by the way, um, it's kind of... Um, when you see her in the um, movie, it's really like... Uh, yes, um... Teenager from uh, f from the uh, hairstyle and mm -hmm. and everything, and then you open the uh, the a Amazon X-ray where you uh, just uh, can look uh, about um, what is the name of the actor, and you get a photo, and then you see her in a just different hairstyle. Oh and yeah. Okay, uh, she is uh, <laughs> she. Is definitely not a teenager. Definitely. It's just a kind of makeup did it, and um, yes, hair. 
Well, the reason I have colored hair is because of that movie. I decided I was going to do, you know, how she's got the little two. Yeah, blue the strings. blue three, uh, the, the blue streaks left and right. Yes. That was <laughs> my thing. That was all I colored for a long time. And I really enjoyed having my little two blue patches there, and then slowly it faded into its currently purpley blue pink. Yeah. Given the K, uh, y you know, when the eight. Uh, when the age requirement for blue hair has been in the early 90s, <laughs> only grandmas may wear blue hair. Not anymore. Though these days it's got a negative connotation about uh, being woke. You can have blue hair because you're woke and defiant. Uh, yeah, I have blue hair. So, uh, whoever in turn uh, decided to weaponize. Uh, uh, this kind of weaponizing vocabulary that is, um, yeah, that is bad style at all. It's like giving names to people, um, uh, like uh, Mom the Befuddled or, yes. uh, or, or the like, uh, nah, or um, no, no, no. Okay, apparently Valdora is has been stuck oh it imploded actually while in cloak got down got taken down from the um, anomalies we go pick up these dilithium boxes that are over here yeah i would say uh yeah the science guide had an awesome control uh gravity well yeah because well, you <clears throat> need a strong control to keep her it's not just uh, the humble 300 control. You need a little bit more to keep the Valdora in stuck. Indeed. Good morning, Mr. Dave. Hey, we sent you a few comments. I mean, we have a functional resume for you, but a little bit more detail would be great. And it's just a little bit more detail. <coughs> and I can send that to you a little bit. I sent you the request for info just now. And if you send me the little bits of data, I'll finish it back and get it to you this morning. Hmm. Oh. All right, so I have Voth on the ground, and I have Voth on the ground, but I also have damage on the ground. How would you feel about doing a little uh, ground stuff on my other account? I can jump back to that one. Okay, okay, and in this case, I will switch. I would switch to Klingon if you uh, accept. Yeah, I can find a uh, AP weapon for the ground. Um, and I would join you with a Dr. Girlfriend. Let me think who's got... You said Klingon, right? Uh, yes. Perfect. I'll do this one. Mr. Dave, your field of expertise is so far out of my knowledge range that I would say, yeah, you know. But definitely I, it shows that you're a very dedicated employee and you would be a very safe hire. Clearly you know what you're doing to be there that long doing that work I, I would say if that was my field I would be putting you like number one on my interview list maybe number one and two on my interview list maybe a few more positions there too might be a very short interview list what did I just do Ugh. So oh, that's me. Good. So I have my AP weapon with me. Do you have a preference in ground stuff? Um, I can uh, insult everywhere. Oh, perfect. Yes. Mr. Dave, my official job title, no joke, is Fleet Admiral. So I, I have to do a bunch of stuff. But you're actually skilled. You probably could do everything I do. Yeah. All right. What would you like to do, Ed? What's a ground thing you would like to do? Uh, as we speak about damage types, mm -hmm. it's, uh, the usual suspects are uh, backhand and um, uh, power descent. I'm good on both of them. Do you have a preference? Do you have any? I love them. I, I just, 
love them. O of course, um, the uh, shooting Terrence is much better for my wardrobe. As after backhand, I always uh, have to do a shower in full oh, dress. Absolutely. Yes, get the goo off my shoes. Ugh. Did you get a wee woo for Pavo Dissension? It read and wood, yes. Right. Yes, yes. So, Mr. Dave, the one thing that I've got in my field of work is the willingness to basically go to every single question. Yeah, I can do that. Then hit wiki, Google, classes, and learn how to do it. Hmm. Somebody isn't paying attention to their wee woos. Um, plus, um, it may take up to a minute for the, uh, new, new. uh, service to start the TFO, I yes. Decline. It, it may not. Who does it think it is? There we go. Oh, right next to you, Dr. Girlfriend. Yes. Hey, that's what we need. Our next emote should be a high five. High five? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and that uh, I uh, pass me a link to see, and I will make appropriate captains. Do you know what a high five is? High five is the, yes. Um, mostly I've uh, first seen high fives in volleyball matches. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, it became uh, okay. It became more current in uh, in American shows. High five the general. Yes, the team cheer, even in small teams like teams of two. <laughs> yes, Mr. Dave. High five isn't a drink. That's seven up. That's when you take two fingers and five fingers and you jump up in the air. And that's a seven up. <laughs> oh man, I see. I forgot about that. Yes. Um by the way, totally useless fact. Um when you order your beverage on a delivery service, mm -hmm. it comes to okay, I might be interested in having a bloody mary uh, over the weekend. That is I, is I have to order some tomato juice. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. tomato juices is uh, delivered in uh follow me. Okay. Just looking to see who's going where. Yeah. It is delivered in um uh, yes, uh, Six liter uh, rackets. Oh. That means uh, to uh, have enough uh, Bloody Mary uh, stuff for uh, to get rid of all the tomato juice means two bottles of vodka and <laughs> um, yes, uh, <clears throat> a liter of uh, lemon juice. Oh, I, I, I do not do tomato juice. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I do like <clears throat> that my Klingon tunes are dropping. Oh, gosh darn it. Ah, where did we go? Oh, there we go. Stop clicking F, Mom. The crystal has been purified. That's interesting. Um, yeah, sometimes getting shot by a turn disables your F button for activating the crystal. Yes, it did. 
Uh, so you have uh, to make a mouse move or move along and. Uh, yeah, just back up. Um, yeah. And we have. I'm pretty sure we have a Klingon. Re yeah, uh, Klingon recruit uh, yes, with do. us as we get the Delicium uh, yes, goodies. Ah. And the mouse doesn't want to do that either. There we go. Um, quite done. Well, we still have to yeah, uh, defend this crystal. Mm -hmm. it's, Somebody leaned um, in behind us. Or the them, I yeah, know. and the crystal is still in progress. Yes, it now it's there done. It is, yeah. Ah, <laughs> shooting Terran to the moon. I love this maneuver. Learned that from uh, from Igor the Great. A stage magician. Now we are three here. How do we get three? Colette joined us. Okay. They probably For no good reason. I uh, probably went back to the spire and got lost coming back out. Yeah. Ed, if you want to head over and start another one, that's fine. You're welcome to join me in a minute. Okay. I think we can handle it from here. It's almost done. Okay. A placed crystal is under attack. Defend it. Just let me know which one you want to. And I will take the other one. Joining Ashara for the um, Region Five. I'm on my way to Region Five. Okay, so you went under the waterfall. No, I okay. was not under. Uh, I will hit the waterfall. So we can get that one going too. Yeah. And Colette's here too. Let me know if you need a hand, though, knowing you, that's the last thing I need to worry about. Hey, it looks like. Phaser turret nobody put away. And after shooting Terrence, I always say, you messed up with the wrong girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Terran reinforcements have arrived. I was doing the crystal thing again. A placed crystal is under I think maybe Colette's not used to doing this, because... Uh, now we are three crystal. here. It's, uh... You're three? How did you get... Okay, yeah, you'd be three there. There's two of us yeah. here. We're good. <laughs> yes, like the... we're fine here, Ed. Okay. I'm just getting my security team down here to give us a little help. A placed crystal is under attack. Defend it.
I'm done. <clears throat> no, you can stay there. I have my invisible troops. I use the uh, uh, orb of possibilities. So you don't see the people anymore. They're cloaked. But you see their weapons, which is really cool to have two weapons running along behind you just shooting at yep. things. This one not there. Let me kill this last dude. Well done. Looks like the Terrans and transporting back. Hey, Musin, good morning. Reading Terran transporter signals near the spire. Heads up. The Terrans didn't what should I do? What should I do? I'll find my own way back. Thank you very much. Where would you like to go, Ed? Again? Already have my, uh, picked my location. Let's see. Well, there's a Shara over uh, the lonesome, here. You, you see the uh, the uh, the cliff at the waterfall that is uh, idle yet. Thank you. I will go take that one. That one's reasonably easy to defend. Let's see if I want to switch out any of these here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'll go that way. Uh, Colette came over to my side also. I love it when I throw a grenade and the target moves closer to me, so it's like, me. My cliff, stay the heck away, guys. I told you, my cliff. My bubble. It's easy to stand up on the cliff and just whack things at him. Let's see, Mr. Dave says, I am at 350 of the campaign. Am I on track since the campaign just started, Mr. Dave? I think you're just fine. I'll just double check here. Uh, event campaign. Yes, you are on track. I'm at the same point you are. 350 out of 3,500. I love your little anime figures there, Musin. Makes my day. Well, that was fun. Oh, and it's almost time for me to go to work, such as it is. 
Yeah, Mucin, I'm not buying it out. I did the calculations. It's cheaper to not buy it out. <laughs> Unless you've got Zen to spare. I don't have Zen to spare. Well, Ed, I think I'm going to call it a day t for today. Yes, we can. Uh, <laughs> makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes absolutely yeah, perfect makes sense. way to start the day shooting Borgies and shooting Voth. But we do have a patch today, I do believe. Is that correct? Uh, yes, and c contains uh, several uh, things fixed. So, uh, okay. so I if working as promised, um, it's a good patch. Well, according to this, I have 143 more red Omegas to get, and then I will have my uh, 38 sets of them, so a total of 3,078 of each. So almost there. Another 100 to go, and I will be done. Yay! Okay, so it's not exciting, but hey, you live for the thrill however you get it. So, Ed, you want to say ta-ta to everybody? Yes, indeed. So, let's brace for the patch and stay awesome!